Hey, Jody Scaper here, and on today's video, we're going to have a close look at the equipment I'm using on this tank. So, if you want to see more, stick around. See you soon. Okay, guys. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in the studio here, and we're going to have a close look at the equipment I'm using on my new aquarium, which is the Waterbox Clear 3620. There has been a series of videos on this, so if you want to check that out, do so. What I'll do, I'll flip the cam camera around, I'll give you a quick update on the tank itself, and then we'll run through all the hardware, the equipment we're using on this particular setup. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. See you soon. Okay, so here we have it. All's going well. I have had the usual issues with diatoms. So if you don't know what diatoms is, it's just like a brownish algae, sometimes greenish and it tends to happen in new setups so it looks a bit ugly but it's nothing major to worry about i have got little bits left there how you can take care of that is just keeping on top of your maintenance so for example i've said it in previous videos i do the water changes with roughly about 50 60 percent i do that and i do that every day for the first couple of weeks then gradually bring that down to it every other day every couple of days so eventually just getting that once a week 50 six percent water change and that's what i've been doing so now i'm just down to the one water change a week and um, if i see any issues i will do more i've just added the algae eating crew um which consists of auto auto sinkless we've got the amano shrimp and there's a siamese algae on there too and within three four days they took care of that so those diatoms covering all the leaves especially on the nubius there was bits on the ball biters, everything basically. And you see the large leaf plants at the back, which is the Amazon swords, those were covered in a thin layer of diatoms. You can see a little bit there. So there's a little bit of diatoms, so it's looking greenish there. You see that? Focus that in. Yeah. So there's a little bit, and there's a bit of the, the stringy bit there hanging about. So this type of algae diatoms, nothing to worry about, totally normal tends to happen during the early stages but like I say the majority of this section here so this stone was covered in diatoms the sand still is a little bit it's not too bad but I've just been keeping it clean siphoning what I cut out and the little algae and crew have done an amazing job so everything's going well yeah I'm happy so that was just an update on the tank I will keep you updated on the evolution of the tank how it goes over the weeks um but so far so good yeah very happy with it I'll just get a decent picture from the distance so yeah that's how it's looking so i'll tell you what i'm gonna do way i'm here i've never actually intentionally grew immersed plants before so above the water and i've read that some swords do have a tendency to dry out the leaves so i just every now and then give them a squirt so I'll just get my handy little bottle there. So I'll just do this once a day. Hopefully that'll help. But there is lots of new growth coming through. Like you can see one just at the back there. So guys, like I said at the beginning, the main purpose of this video was to give you a rundown of all the equipment I'm using on this system. So I'll just go through that. I'll start with the lights, which haven't been on here long. I was waiting for them coming in the shop at Horizon Aquatics, but worth the wait because the light is, oh, it's awesome. I love it. Just brighten that up for you. Try. Yep, so this is the Chihiros RGB Vivid 2. The reason I want to hang it a bit higher, obviously, because of the immersed growth and the wood coming out the top. So this light is controlled via an app, the same one as I have in my living room, which is the WRGB2. Both great lights and I'm over the moon with it. Um, plants are growing, plants are healthy, so can't complain. It's only been on here about two weeks, I think, and it's going great. So I don't know, probably blind you. It's mad because it looks white, but it's actually full WRGB, so white, red, green, blue and you can control everything on the app so you can control each color individually you can control the intensity so the app's really great and easy to use so 
The light's only running for five hours at the moment because when I have one of us having the diatoms and I just wanted to ease the lighting down so it's just five hours but it will be going up six hours tomorrow up to seven and I'll probably keep it around seven hours maybe it's eight we'll see how it goes yeah so that's the light cool light and that's the stands close up fairly easy to set up so I was happy about that Next, going down the tank, which the tank I have covered in a lot of detail in previous videos, so if you want to check that out. It is the Waterbox Clear 3620, which is a 90 centimeter aquarium, which is three foot. I'll overlay the full dimensions of it, so you know what's what with the tank. Very impressed with the tank. It's on a solid cabinet. Okay. So you can see there, I've got a stainless steel inlet and outlet. Those are the 17 mil pipe set from Aquavit Row by Seachem. And I'm really into these at the moment. I've got a set on my living room tank and that's the smaller size. This is the larger size, which is 17 mil. And it's great. I just, I think the look, they're really aesthetic and pleasing. They're easy to clean. There's no worry about smashing with the glass. And yeah great stuff that being a nozzle as well like the output nozzle it does knock out quite a bit of power so you've got good circulation combined with obviously a good filter so which we'll get to soon by CKM we've got the little pH CO2 drop checker which I've got a few of those now which are great so these were courtesy of CKM so thank you very much CKM so easy to clean I do prefer the stainless steel now, the only exception being is if I do a very clinical looking scape, such as Niwagumi, I will continue to use glassware because you want to keep it really minimal. But I think in a nature style aquarium or jungle style or really heavily planted aquarium, obviously these do the trick. Which also match if you come along here, this is stainless steel again, but it's by CO2 Art, who kindly provided me with full kit so again thank you so much for providing that and also i do have this one in my living room tank as well i really like these diffusers so this one is the co2 art io in tank diffuser great it's getting around the tank because as you can see if we check the job checker you'll see so this has been on about two hours now and it's shown green yeah it's not lime green but it's green and plants are growing so I think it's doing well yeah you see it gives off a real fine mist which is what you want I don't like big bubbles okay so we'll go inside the cabinet now hopefully you can see I'll just open these wide and we can go through all the equipment in here as usual I'm using an Wazi Biomaster thermo filter and this is the 600 and does a grand job absolutely love them got one two three four i think i've got four awazi external filters running now in all honesty i think once you've used an awazi filter you're a bit spoiled because they're so easy to maintain with the pre-filter and the really good high quality and they've got the built-in here so that's good nothing in the tank yeah like i said this is the 600 version excuse the dirty hoses i didn't have any of the right size hose and so I've had to just put some on a hard line around and it's best to go clean them because I've had them for ages but I will be changing them very soon. I've tried to keep everything as nice and clean as possible in here. So we've got the filter and then we'll come to the regulator for the CO2. You'll see there there's a manifold, an extra manifold on there so this runs through and I'm running two tanks on the one regulator set so that comes through you control how much is coming through and then you've got your bubble count so one's running to this tank and your that is running to all the way around here to Miwagumi that's where it's running to that's actually in line that one so if you come I'll show you I'm on my knees here <laughs> that's in line so that hosen's running through there, and again, it's doing a great job if they were goomy. We'll do a video on that separate. 
So that's how the CO2 is working. I was going to ask is, the equipment I'm showing you on this tank today, is there anything you would like to see in more depth that I haven't covered? Well, if you're interested in that guys, just leave us a comment, let us know if it's something you would like to do. Yep, so that's a CO2 set, some stuff I've been using in the early stages, prime for every water change, and stability for to help mature the tank. So I always use those. These are the products I'm using on plant fertilizer stuff like that, but we'll go in that, go into that on another video, my fit routine for feeding the plants. So a little recap on the equipment. Starting from the top, we have the Chihiros RGB Vivid 2, which is on a hang kit on the stands, which you do buy separately. You get the hanging kit with it, but not the stands. Tank itself, which is the water box clear 3620. We have the in-tank diffuser from CO2 Art, the Acrovitro inlet and outlet, the pipe set, stainless steel pipe set, the Seachem pH drop checker, pH stroke CO2 drop checker. Checker, everyone laughs at the way I say checker. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pH drop checker. <laughs> in the cabinet we have the CO2 Art Pro Elite regulator with the extra manifold on for your the aquarium. And the Oase Biomass at Thermo 600. So that's a filtration running on the tank. So I'll stand back here, hope you can get a look at the whole lot. Do, 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 do. So going up, the tank itself, escape, and the light. And the late great Mr. Romano. <laughs> Okay everyone, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have done, just remember to give us a big, big thumbs up because it really does help with YouTube. Helps me get found, helps my channel get found, helps these videos get found. So I appreciate you can give us a thumbs up. Any comments, I'll do my best to answer all the comments. And particularly this video, I would like to see what you would like to see in more detail of any of the equipment, whether that be the lighting, the CO2, just let us know in the comments below and I shall do a video for you guys on that particular subject. So always good to get your feedback because end of the day, I want to make videos like you guys want to see. Again, huge thank you for all the support, the subscribers I'm getting, the comments I'm getting. It's all been so, so good and I'm really happy about it. So thank you very much. So for now, guys, I'm not going to babble on and on. Till next video, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.